Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In this one we will be creating a modern looking black and white background that will add a touch of sophistication to your projects. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with my exciting tutorials and creative content. So let's dive right into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always let's create first new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon, this is gonna be full HD, I will rename this one to final, 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second, duration it's up to you and mine background will be around 10 seconds, hit OK and now let's create solid layer, go right click to find here solid layer, ok this is gonna be background also 9020 by 1080, hit OK. Now go here in the facts and preset and if you can't find the facts and preset go window and you will find it here. Ok now type here for color gradient effect drag and drop here on our background and here let's make some adjustments for the first color let's go pure black color hit ok for the second color let's go almost pure black color dark gray color somewhere like here hit ok. And for the third and fourth color, let's type here 7676 and 76 to get this shade of gray color. Hit OK. And now for the fourth color, let's use eyedropper. OK. You can close this effect control for now. And let's go and create new adjustment layer. Go right click, find here new adjustment layer. I will rename this one to waves. OK, and now let's add here first effect, hit here on this uh, new adjustment layer, go in the facts and preset, find motion tile effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer, and let's change here output width and output height to 700, like so. A really important step to check this option mirror edges, and let's add our next effect, this is going to be turbulent displays, OK, drag and drop here on the adjustment layer, and here let's type amount 2000 something like this and instead of this turbulent option find here vertical displacement this scene is already looking cool and for the complexity let's type here 1.5 also let's animate evolution hold alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click and type here time asterisk 50 and now we have also movement of our waves here in the final scene okay also for the next effect, let's go here in the facts and preset, find CC smear, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and for the radius instead of 80 type here 2000. Now hit zero in the finals and this scene is already looking cool. Now let's add another adjustment layer, close this effects control for now, go right click, find here new adjustment layer again, this is gonna be unsharp mask, okay. Go in the facts and preset, find unsharp mask effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And for the amount and radius, let's also make a few adjustments. We can leave this amount to around 50. For the radius, let's try maybe 100. And as you can see, now we have this sharpness of our waves here in the final scene. This is already looking cool. And now let's pre-compose our layers, select them and then go right click, find here pre-compose, I will rename this one background and now hit OK. Now let's duplicate the new composition, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate, OK and find blending mode here according your needs, you can play around, maybe overlay or soft light or maybe add if you want to emphasize those white parts of the scene, but I will do maybe lighten for now course you can play around hit T for opacity and you can also change the strength of our blending mode okay now let's select this one again go right click to pre-compose this is gonna be waves you can of course type your own name here and then also make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK and now let's create another adjustment layer right click find here new adjustment layer this is gonna be curves okay go here in the facts and preset find curves effect drag and drop onto the adjustment layer and let's draw here as curve to create a contrast like this you can play around here with the curves and also let's create another adjustment layer go right click find here new adjustment layer this is also gonna be unsharp mask 
okay and then go here in the facts and preset find again unsharp mask effect drag and drop here and also you can play around with the sharpness here in the final composition let's do maybe 120 threshold type here maybe around 20. hit zero and as you can see our scene is looking really cool really modern and really awesome in every moment you can play here in waves composition go in background hit f3 here on the waves and you can change here displacement maybe horizontal displacement if you want different shapes maybe twist basically you will play around with the options until you're satisfied with your own results i will go back to vertical displacement go in the final hit zero again and this is looking cool all right guys uh, that was everything for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new like always if you found this video helpful please hit that like button also please consider to subscribe if you haven't already take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials all the links are in description and until next time stay creative and bye bye